foot 11, the father of a six year old who police say was brutally beaten by a Clayton County woman's boyfriend is telling us how the boy is doing after months in the hospital. It's still a long journey for the boy as authorities say two people face multiple charges in connection with the crime. News Edge reporter Eric Perry live in studio here with us and this is the first time Eric we're hearing from the boy's father. Yeah, and it's hard to believe we were the only station there when that mother was escorted out of that police precinct and placed into a patrol car heading to jail. Now this father tells me the son is doing all he can to stay strong and he's trying to be strong for his son. I forgive him. It was a hard thing to do, but it's all in God's hands now. It wasn't easy, but Bishop Cardwell says he has forgiven the mother of his child and her boyfriend after Clayton County Police say they nearly killed his six-year-old son in June. You might remember this exclusive video showing officers taking 33-year-old Portia Wills from the Clayton County Police headquarters to jail. Officials say Wells' boyfriend, Napoleon Eight, severely beat the six-year-old, leaving him with broken bones, blood clots in his lung, and bleeding on the brain. Police say for days, Wells did nothing. And in fact, police say she went to get her nails done before finally taking him to a hospital. He's actually made a lot of progress. But there's a glimmer of hope. There's progress as this six-year-old has been in a hospital for months. My son is actually uh, doing physical therapy. Um, although he's still not able to really walk on his own um, or uh, has not really become verbal. Cardwell says he is fighting for full custody of his son, but it has not been an easy road. I'm in the funeral industry, and, and as I see children come in to the back of the funeral home, and sitting at the funeral home most days, especially after this occurred, and the phone would ring, and in the back of my mind is just a call I'm getting about my child. He says the love and support he's gotten from around the world has helped him and his family push forward. Just be careful as to who you allow around your children. Now, as for the mom and her boyfriend, they were denied bond and face a laundry list of charges, including cruelty, battery, assault with a deadly weapon, and also making false statements. Of course, the focus now is for that six-year-old to get better and to continue to recover. Russ, Christine. Yeah, we certainly wish that little boy the best. All right, Eric, thanks.